Okay, I've made some cupboards for my camper van. Well, my van. Um, it looks difficult to do, but it's not that difficult, as I'm going to show you in a few steps. Now, as you can see, I made like a box. Let's get back here so you can see better. Okay, and what I've done is I made a box. I've used some. This is Birch MDF. It's just basically stuff I had knocking about, lying around. As you know, stuff's gone through the ceiling price of material, so I've just used anything. Um, this is 15 mil, I think, and obviously. I've used birch, MDF, and I've obviously, and then all I've done is I've laminated the top. I'll show you how to do that now. Like I said, it looks difficult. It ain't that difficult. I'll take you through step by step. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is make a template. So we get this to stay. Okay. So as you can see, what I've done. This is a Citroen van relay van. It's same as the box and the Fiat. And then what I've done is I made a template to suit the shape. Okay, see that? I've got some cardboard, cut it out. Now obviously you're going to need to decide how wide you want this box to be. So that's that of you, what preferences you want. This has been, this template was made for the other side, I've actually made the box on the other side slightly wider, I think it's about 4 cents that one. The one on the other side I'm going to make a little bit narrower. Okay, so you can see what I've cut it, basically got the edge there square, and I've just shaped it. I'll probably come off about 25 mil around the top, but you gauge that yourself, it's not rocket science. And also put a bit of a joggle at the bottom. And the reason for the joggle is two things. One, just want to add a bit of shape to it. And obviously as well, when you make it out of timber, it's just a bit more support there. You can actually do it square. Obviously with this process, you need a jigsaw and router. You could actually make that the square. You don't need to uh, do what I've done if you want to do it simpler. Like I said, this is just a, it's just a storage area, I'm not making the uh, dogs danglies, Taj Mahal camper van. It's just to serve a purpose to put some storage. I've got some storage space, so you can do it any way you want it. Now, next is to transfer that shape onto a piece of hardboard. Okay, so, that's my cardboard cut out. And that's the template I'm going to use. I'm going to use this as, to, uh, as a router template. Now obviously I've used, some th I've used thin stuff for one reason only and that is basically because when you cut it out with a jigsaw it might be a bit wobbly and it's easy to sand down the thin stuff than it is the thick stuff for obvious reasons. That makes a big difference. Obviously you want your router to uh, run smoothly down there. I mean this, obviously don't forget this is just a DIY job. I'm not expecting you know, that to be perfect. Because it's half decent that's all that matters. Like I said you're not making the dogs dangle camper van of the world not winning any awards it's just a service purpose for me i need some storage space in my camper van and that's about it really because it looks half decent i'm not bothered so eventually you so you, what you basically do you cut your template out of the thin stuff sanded it down the edges there now i've got a belt sander and it's perfect for sanding that out brilliant the back edge that bit there and that bit there and on the back doesn't matter that is not going to be seen. The only important bits for me is that edge, that edge, and that edge. That's all that matters. So if you get it as clean as you know, half decent job as you can, that's be fine. Now don't forget, like I said, you can do it square as well. Um, you don't have to bother with that juggle, that bit of a design thing there. So it's up to you. Right. So I've done my template, I've cut it out, I've sanded it up, and then what you do is take your template and you get some. Some thicker stuff. Now this is, I think that's 18 mil or 15 mil or something. Now I've used the last bits of this up on the first shelf storage area. Now the other stuff I'm going to use, if I can find it, is some chipboard. Okay, so the first shelf I've used storage area cupboard. I've used this MDF with the birch veneer, which was ideal. I had it knocking about. I've just cleaned it up, varnished on the inside and veneered on the outside. Now, the other side I'm going to make out of this chipboard. This has got oak face chipboard. Now, as you can see, that one is a lot wider there. That's about 470. On this one, and if you can make it out, I'm making it a bit smaller, this shelf. That's about 300 from there to there. I've actually reduced the size of it because I don't want it as wide on that side because that's where I'm walking through. I don't want to whack my head on it. So I'm going to cut these out with a jigsaw and then I'm going to show you how to finish it off with the router. 
Okay, so as I've said, I'm going to cut it out of this little scrap there. This is oak veneered. I made these a little bit shorter than the actual one I made in the other cupboard. A bit not as wide. So I'm just going to cut it out. Now I'll just leave the pencil line on. I'm going to come to the pencil line on about 2 or 3 mil. Depends how good you have with a jigsaw. Like I said, you can do this square as well, it's not important to do it square. <laughs> That's kind of one. You can see, get it to the shape. I'm just going to trim it off a little bit more, get a bit closer so the router hasn't got as much work to do. I'll do that for you and then come back to the video. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut it out there. Now, that was my template. As you can see. I'm going to route it out to that. I made it a little bit bigger, I'm going to cut out with the router. That's the other one. So I made two of them. Now originally, let's just get it now. So that's the biggest one. That was the other side of the cupboard. That's a lot bigger that. I'm going to trim it down, the other one to about there. Okay, so basically what I've done originally, so let's just do recap. Cardboard cut out. Get that right. Cardboard, you can do that as many times as you want to get it right. Then once you've got it right, impose that onto a piece of hardboard, about 6mm thick. You can clean it up with sandpaper, get it pretty half decent. And then once you've got it decent, you can draw it on your template onto your board. And then cut it out with a jigsaw. And then we'll set so now you've got your, your jig, which you can use, you can use a router against that and cut it out perfectly now. Now just to re go back over this one there, which I did originally. <coughs> I made two or three of these for the other cupboard. I actually didn't use a router because I didn't have the router bit handy. So what I did, I had a decent jigsaw and a jigsaw blade. I cut it out pretty pretty close to the line. Got the sander, had a belt sander, got right in there. Like I said, it was only that edge there and the front which really mattered. That was already square. So really, I had to concentrate on this really and that one because they're the only ones that are seen. And obviously when you edge it, it wants to be pretty decent. So. So like I said, I didn't use a router, but on this one I'm going to use a router just to show you for purpose. For the... Okay, so I've got my semi router up. This has got a bearing at the top. Make sure it's not plugged in when you're pissing around like I am. It's got a bearing router bit there. Uh, that will catch on to my template bit there and just about cut that. It's just about long enough that one to cut the excess off there. So I'll set your router bit up first. Like I said, if you're not familiar with this, I'm sure you'll find some of the videos online if it'll help you out. Um, obviously, alternatively, you could just do it square. You don't have to even bother with the router at all. Depends what your purpose is and what you want to achieve, but I'll give you the options. So I'm going to set this up with the router and then I'm going to start routing out. Okay, so I've got the template. I've got it clamped down to my piece of timber there, that chipboard, that oak veneer chipboard. So I'm just going to router that one out. I've already done one. I'm just going to do this one for you. If you can see it and if you can hear it.
just going to spin it around. I've got most workspace area here. This place is a bit of a tip at the moment, but uh, I suppose most people are working like this anyway, so it's not a professional workshop, and that's not the purpose of the uh, video anyway. So you get the gist of it, this is what I did before, so it's already routed out, use the template, I'll do that one in a second, I want to bore you with the, the details, but that's basically it, yeah, and then we'll do the next step. Okay, there you have it, so I've cut out the boring bit, I've just set up the basics of it, you know how to do it now, so that's a router, unless it's got a bearing at the top, that's what you want, the bearing at the top one, unless you've got a table one. So I've cut out the two templates now, so now what we're going to do is offer them up to our van and see how well they fit, but they should be perfect. Well, perfect-ish. Okay, so I've cut the two ends. That's the old veneered chipboard with the router. Okay-ish, do the job. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a box with them two end pieces. I'm going to cut strips on boards. So rip some boards down, same sort of stuff, and I make a box, screw it all together, and then I'm going to cut out that bit there for the two cubby holes. So I'll make a box first, screw it all together, veneer it, and I'm going to cut out the hole. Might make a template for that. Um, okay, so that's with the next stage. Okay, so that's the top bit, as you can see, end panels. <clears throat> I've got some strips. These are about 1300 long, you can make them any size you want, that's that you, obviously on preference. That one's the full width, from there to there, and the other one sits in the back. And there's another piece, which is that one, which is going to go, that'll be the back, which is going to go kind of down the back there. If you can see it, not much space here, but uh, that's going to go down there, that's going to be at the back, so all the stuff inside doesn't come out the back. So that's what you're making, you're aiming for, you're making like a box. And obviously I'm going to cut out the holes on the front there once I've veneered it. With the same colour veneer, the dark stuff. So I'm going to screw that all together. And then I'll try and take a video of that me doing it. Just a little few snippets. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got my fill. I'm going to, to pre-drill these because I have a tendency to split and get too close to the edge. So I'm going to pre-drill it all.
last one on the top there. So I'll do the other side. Let's split it all in. We'll turn the video off now. We'll come back to it. Okay, so I've made the box. There's two empires there. There's the strips. Obviously, you're going to decide how wide you want them. That's down to you. But you get the gist of it, how to make the template. So you're going to make a box. That's the back piece that I couldn't show you before. Plenty of glue on all over the place. But uh, it did a job. Right, so what I'm going to do next video is I'm going to veneer. First of all, I need to sand all these edges off. Got all these loose bits up for a veneer at all. So that's going to get a veneer on it. Now, the veneer I'm going to use is this one, which is going to match. Got some really nice, uh, like a Wengi walnut sort of wood grain finish. Quite nice. Um, I've got quite a lot of them. So if you're going to make one of these yourself, give us a shout. I can sell you some of these laminate sheets, which are big enough to what you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to veneer all this, the two sides. I've actually got some edging as well. Some acrylic edging as well from the leaf. And I'm going to cut the holes in. For the cubby holes and put two in there i'm probably going to put a divider in the middle as well just across there somewhere in the middle i'll make one of them as well so yeah next one coming up